You guys are living the dream. Two young guys having an opportunity to start their own store. How did it happen? I've always had a little bit of an entrepreneurial background. Matt actually had the idea and then about three years ago put a bug in my ear. He wanted to start a bottling company for water and then eventually got interested in distilling. Bottling company for water? You, you do have water? Yeah. The water, this is water of life though. The laws in Alberta had changed where previously you needed a super high production scale to be able to get a license. They went from 250,000 litres down to zero, which basically opened the doors up for small distillers. Uh, and it was just the right opportunity. There wasn't anything like this here. Uh, so we started looking for space and then 14 months by the time we actually committed to this, to opening the doors. The love for booze must obviously have something to do with this because there's so many distilleries opening up. And we've discovered that if you don't have an awful lot of passion for the kind of thing you're making, you're in for a hard ride here. I don't know if it's so much love for booze, but more love for what you said, which is the passion for what you're making. Which in this case is booze, but we both wanted something that you could tangibly make with your hands and see from start to finish. That was sort of new and unique. We did a little mash, we built a little still, and we got this product out in the end. We were like, this actually worked. We took a grain and we now have liquor. The bar here, all this woodwork, we've done everything from the start, not just in the grain to bottle process, but business to wherever we're going process. We're not looking to start up a huge company that can grow and do everything with a push of a button, bringing in consultants for recipe development or things like that, that would be a, maybe a good idea, but it would inhibit our own learning and growth. You guys said you're getting all your grain from one farmer? Yeah, so this is a hard red Alberta wheat. We have two of these big bags. He getting paid in vodka or gin? He's getting vodka. <laughs> So this is a cocktail called the Moss. I like to describe it as a walk in the forest after a nice spring rain, nice and fresh and herbal. Look at that, a little baby one. That's the Moss. This is nice, I get the... Sure. And you're gonna develop some more amazing walks in the forest. Yeah. Seasonal cocktails, probably weekly specials, and yeah, we're excited to get people in and have a drink down here. Wildlife Distillery is about, kind of like a lifestyle brand is what we're trying to exemplify is our personalities translated into the business, translated into where we live and what we love to do. We're using animals on each bottle, right? So we're gonna have a different animal. The gin is actually gonna be a, a bison. I like the way that you phrase that because initially my thoughts were this is all about animals because you're in the Bow Valley and you're next to Banff National Park and so on, but this is about life. So what's the best part of your life at the moment? Best part of my life at the moment is learning back here, distilling from day to day, mashing, living right here in the Bow Valley. Pretty much every time we repeat a recipe or do a new process, we're doing better than the time before. I agree with you guys 100%. It's about the adventure, it's about the life, and it's about the opportunity to learn.